so for obvious reasons, there are very few movies coming out this year compared to last year. I mean, 2022 was the year we got a whole lot of everything that, like, no one asked for. A sequel to Enchanted, two 365 Days movies, three Pinocchio remakes! But 2023 is very different, mainly because of the strikes that are still going on. But, like, it's not even really the strikes themselves, it's just, like, the big studios are demanding the dumbest things. Like, they want to be allowed to use AI versions of dead actors without permission from or compensation for their families. Like... <laughs> Like, what? Hey, so, uh, Alex from the future here just got back from getting my weekly Mad Max water rations. Anyway, turns out the strikes have ended now, so, yeah, who's ready for Wonka, am I right? But that being said, earlier this year, a new Jennifer Lawrence movie came out, and we don't get a whole lot of those anymore, so you gotta savor it when you do. So, what do you say we take a walk and check out this sorta, of, kinda new movie? No hard feelings. The movie starts off with the main character, Maddie, just your average, life-going-nowhere, disillusioned millennial who's fed up with living in one of those places where rich people come in and just buy up all the houses and drive up the property tax which is exactly what's happening to her, if you can believe that. Court order for asset seizure. You gotta pay your property taxes, Maddie. No, this is a mistake. I'm negotiating a payment schedule with them. So, well, I guess they're done negotiating. What, so they're taking my car? I'm an Uber driver. It's not my problem. How am I supposed to pay their taxes just bartending? Uh, my problem is that you just went radio silent on me. <laughs> Ah, uh, yes. The classic uh, bait-and-switch argument technique. Works every time. <sighs> why can't you just put the dishes in the dishwasher after you use them? Oh, yeah, well, why can't you shut down other guys flirting with you right in front of me? Wait, are you still talking about the riot operator at Six Flags from, like, four years ago? And then, like, two days later, you're both getting ready for bed, and it's like... <laughs> Thing. So because Maddie can't pay her taxes, her car gets taken away and now she has to roller skate everywhere, which is like truly a fate worse than death. And so not only does she need money to pay taxes on the house, but she also needs to get her car back or get a new car or something. So yeah, looks like it's time to stop eating all that avocado toast and all your problems will be solved apparently somehow. My mom left me that house. It's paid off. Can they do this? Well, if you haven't paid your taxes, they can. Do you have any idea how much money I lose every day I'm not Ubering? These people? are moving in, trying to push me out? Do you have any idea what that feels like? <clears throat> now, one day, Maddie and her friends stumble onto this weird, like, Craigslist ad about someone selling a car for free. Need a car for college? Date our 19-year-old son this summer. He's a wonderful young man. He's never had a girlfriend, and we've tried everything. We're looking for an attractive, kind, and intelligent woman, early to mid-20s. In exchange, we'll give you a Buick Regal, clean, rust-free, 40K miles. Yeah, so basically the ad's like, please sleep with my son and I'll give you a car. <laughs> Which is, which is honestly like the least messed up Craigslist ad you'll ever see. Couch for sale, selling cause my husband had diarrhea on one of the cushions and I can't get the smell out. <laughs> Guard log, $2,500. Autographed Bible. Keep on trucking. I have corn dags for sale, $5 corn dag, two for 11, five for 15. But like, come on, who among us has never had a bathtub full of corn dags, you know what I'm saying? Fenrir. But okay, anyway, of course, having no other option, Maddie decides, why not give it a try, you know? Like, it's only Craigslist, what's the worst that could happen? So she rollerblades her way over to some rich hoity-toity family's house to hopefully not be sacrificed to Lord Cthulhu. Not this time, anyway, that's, that's plan B. The reason you haven't found anyone yet is because young girls are idiots. What you need is someone who looks like a peer but has the maturity to be able to handle this with the tact and sensitivity the situation requires. Percy is so loving and he's so sensitive. Wait, wait, I'm sorry, your kid's name is Percy? Like, like the kid who fought Zeus or the kid who tattled on Harry Potter all the time? I'm telling you though, Gen X and millennial people's kids are all just day one setting middle school bullies up for infinite employment. I got nieces and nephews who go to school with kids named like Xehanort and Falcor and like Sock Drawer or something. Just a one way ticket to having your kids never talk to you again when they grow up. Anyway, back to the movie. Yeah, he's going to Princeton next year. No, oh, I've heard of it. He's an amazing musician, but he won't play for anyone. He's just having a lot of trouble socially. You know, and as a mother, that's just been really hard to watch these past four years. He's always on his phone. He doesn't come out of his room. He doesn't have any friends. He doesn't talk to girls. Uh, okay, well, maybe your son is just, like, too cool for all that, hmm? And maybe the girls don't talk to him because, uh, they all have huge crushes on him and they're just too intimidated, okay? You ever thought of that, huh? No, I'm not projecting. Why would you say such a thing? Well, he's not gay. No, we've seen his internet history. Yeah, the porn is graphic. Okay, then why don't you date Percy and the Buick is yours? Date him. Date him hard. Okay. So, is he in his room? No, 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 he's not here. He can't know about this. Nobody can know about no, this. No, no. Oh. Wait a second here. Is this is this Mean Girls 2? Are we just doing Mean Girls 2? 
again. And then at the end, it's gonna be Percy and Maddie and all the girls who wear black, and they're gonna fight all the girls who wear pink. Do you ever just stop and remember that Mean Girls 2 was a real movie? So after some more back and forth, basically what it comes down to is that Maddie needs to pretend to be his girlfriend and then get him to do the old devil's tango. And then she gets the car. Percy goes off to Princeton. Wham, bam, boom, boom, bow. Problem solved. No hard feeling. Oh, wait. That's, that's why the movie's called that. Now, Percy works at the local dog shelter, so Maddie struts on in and tries to work her magic by pretending to want to adopt the dog. Um, spouse? Currently single. Have more fun, you know? Be spontaneous. Unmarried. Children? No, God no. Too young. Childless. Why do you want to adopt a dog? Because I can't have dogs of my own. <laughs> Like, it's like those personality tests, you know, where they ask you all these questions and slowly you start to realize, like, huh, I'm kind of a weird dude. So seeing how this is really not going the way she hoped it would, Maddie just kind of, like, kidnaps him in her creepy windowless van that she borrowed from a friend and then just, like, tries to take him to her house. This isn't the way to my house. It's a shortcut. Yeah, you know, I was such a loser in high school where, like, I would dream about that kind of, like, manic pixie girl scenario who, like, you know, like, some super cute girl with purple hair would show up and she's just, like, super into me for no reason. <laughs> wow, what are the chances? But, like, now as an adult, like, anytime any girl has proactively flirted with me, there's always a moment where I'm like, okay, all right, I know a paid assassin when I see one. Anyway, so after pepper spraying her in the face and then shooting her with a water hose, Percy learns that Maddie wasn't trying to murder him after all. <laughs> I just thought you were hot. You think I'm hot? Yeah. I think you're super hot. Well, do you, maybe we should go on a date then. I'll go throw another dress on. Oh no, I, did, I didn't mean now. I meant, like, you know, t tomorrow. And so they do. And then we get more of them uh, classic tiny dating pool, small town shenanigans when another of Maddie's exes shows up. Hello, Travis. It's great. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. You know, it turns out your little like disappearing act that was the best thing that ever happened to me. She's a real person, unlike you. Don't worry, I can fix her. But anyway, as they start dating and hanging out and stuff, some people are starting to kind of wonder like what's really going on here. You know, like why would a girl like this be with a guy like that? Which is pretty much how I feel about like 80% of couples I ever see anywhere. Like go to any theme park and it's like, You know, Halle Bailey syndrome. Anyway, one such person is Percy's old nanny, Jody. Excuse me? It's his parents' money, not his. You like little kids or something? Do I like little kids? You're a male nanny. What do you want from him? Same thing as you. I want to date him. <laughs> This, this movie is something else, I tell you what. But all the same, the movie goes on like basically how you expect it would. They go on dates, they have fun or whatever, they play laser tag, and Maddie gets completely naked and suplexes a kid on the beach, as one does. And throughout all this, we start to get a better picture of who Maddie is, and like it's not just about having money problems because of the inflated property taxes, but also she might sort of kind of have something else going on. Yeah. What else? Oh, uh, close your eyes. Now you're stuck with me forever. It's a finger trap. <laughs> Percy, get me out of this. Stop, stop pulling away. Stop pulling away. Relax. Hey, do you think maybe she has attachment issues, guys? Like, literally, you think? Maybe? I don't know. The symbolism is just too cerebral for me here in this movie. Now, in a shocking plot twist that literally no one could have seen coming, turns out all of this is just because she's a girl with daddy issues. Well, you asked why my dad didn't take care of my mom when she was sick. It's because he was in the city with his family. Gave my mom some money and a house to make us go away. I wrote my dad a letter asking why he wanted nothing to do with me. I got the letter returned, unopened. Can I kiss you? <laughs> what? Like, Percy, my dude, come on, read the room here. Although, to be fair, girls also get, like, weirdly attracted to guys showing, like, literally any emotion, you know? It's like, yeah, like, the part where Artax dies in the swamp just really hits me hard, you know? Uh-huh, yeah. And then what? 
But yeah, that's right. Maddie's whole shtick about disappearing on guys, ghosting people all the time, everything is because of her dad, which is something that like all these movies and even just in real life, it's like people just bring this up all the time. This girl dresses and acts slightly outside the norm. <laughs> She's probably got so many daddy issues. But like, no one ever seems to blame the dad who left in the first place. Like, I'm pretty sure daddy issues don't just fall out of the sky, okay? Or like how there's a big stigma around like single moms, you know? But like, usually they're single because like the dad left or like they had to leave the dad for some reason. But like, being the parent who stayed to take care of the kid makes you the bad one for some reason. But whatever. Anyway, as with literally every movie like this, Maddie and Percy start to become friends, kind of? And turns out Maddie actually kind of like likes him or whatever? Do you ever have those? Uh, intense dreams. Um, you know Harley Quinn from Suicide Squad? Okay. Uh, I had this one dream where I wouldn't let her adopt a dog, so she locked me in one of the dog cages and drag me back to her hideout. Well, hey, between you and me, Percy, that sounds like a heck of a good time, okay? Just replace Harley Quinn with Shigo from Kim Possible and you got yourself a deal. And like, normally, every guy she dates just wants to hurry up and do the old devil's tango right away, no questions asked, right? But Percy, being a nice guy, TM, he wants to get to know her and like, wants to know about her feelings and what she's thinking about him. <laughs> Gross, am I right? And like, he even plays her a song on the piano in front of everyone and she's like, wow. <laughs> Shrek? That was unbelievable. How did you even know that song? We talked about Man Eater, so I went home and learned it. What are you? <laughs> And like, this is the part where I'm like, did, did, did I, did I write this movie? I, I mean, some loser kid with no friends who spends all of his time, you know, playing video games and put all of his skill points into the piano playing Where's My Hug skill tree. That guy impresses the hot girl by playing the piano? I mean, I've had this dream every night since I was like 11. But you see, that was back before video games and anime were cool, you know? So like back in my day, trying to get the girl while playing the Inuyasha opening theme song on the piano, like <laughs> that, that did not get you very far. Now, as you can probably imagine, just when things are starting to get real good between Maddie and Percy. It all comes crashing down when the truth comes out. Listen, I, I don't think I can do this. Percy has gotten way too attached. You, you can have the car. You got him out of his shell, and that's all we wanted. But now he's got this idea that he wants to stay in Montauk, and... So if I can convince him to go to Princeton, I get the car? I don't have to have sex with him anymore? You know, the whole premise for this movie is so weird, right? Like, parents trying to get their kid laid. But also, this is how you know they have a son. No parents with a daughter would ever even joke about something like this. You have a son, you hire a 32-year-old to sleep with him. You have a daughter, lock her up in a tower for 40 years. But I'll say, yeah, so Percy accidentally found out that this was all a sham the whole time. The truth is one day I'll live in Paris or something and I'll come back to visit Montauk and you'll still be here. I'm gonna lose my house and I don't have a rich dad that can help me. Actually, Maddie, you do. And you're gonna waste your entire life in that house waiting for him to come back and apologize. So the end of the movie, Maddie gets the car anyway, because although they never actually like, <laughs> she did help him open up a lot, which is really what the parents wanted in the first place. So she uses the new car to pay off for taxes by Uber driving, which is probably the most unbelievable part of this entire movie, but whatever. Anyway, after thinking about what Percy said to her, she finally realizes that she has been holding herself back by just staying here and waiting for her dad the whole time. Like at first she was staying here because she wanted to give a big old middle finger to all the rich people trying to push her out, but actually it was because of her daddy issues. Because like no one in any movie can just like have their own opinions on anything like every personality quirk has to have some kind of tragic backstory uh rocky road i guess what about you well i used to love vanilla ice cream but then when i was 10 years old i found out that sweet life of zach and cody had been canceled and i was holding a manila envelope and manila rhymes with vanilla for some reason and i haven't been able to stomach a single bite since also this is my entire personality now like earlier in the movie we find out why percy is so shy and always like cooped up in his room i had to switch schools after I had a sleepover in ninth grade and everybody found out that I still slept in my parents' room sometimes, it turned into this rumor that I slept in the same bed with them and then it became that I had sex with them. I mean, that is a weird rumor to be fair, but also like your mom's insanely hot. So like, you know, <laughs> I mean. What are we talking about? Anyway, so in the end, Maddie realizes that Percy was one of her only real true friends. The only guy who actually wanted to get to know her. So, she apologizes, and he throws her into the ocean from the hood of his car. You know how it is. Maddie ends up selling her house and decides to road trip all the way across the country to California. But first, she's gonna drive Percy all the way up to Princeton to start his freshman year. I requested no conversation. Oh, we're talking, buddy. All the way to Princeton. Then I'm gonna call you for my whole drive to California. Tell you about my new boyfriend. He's a former cop. Okay. Do you want to meet him? No. Well, he really wants to meet you. Come on. And 
that's pretty much where the movie ends. So yeah, I mean, let's be honest here, okay? This movie is extremely predictable. <laughs> like, it plays out exactly how you expect it would. Percy learns that having fun is cool, and Maddie realizes that taxes suck. No, but really though, it's about like friendship and not letting your traumatic backstory control your entire life, things like that. I will say though, Jennifer Lawrence really has great comedic acting. Like, it's really lucky for her that she got her start in like one of the biggest movie franchises in history, but like, she really should try doing more comedy stuff. Like, she just has that natural charisma and comedic timing that's actually really rare nowadays. So I hope this is the beginning of uh, her doing more of this kind of stuff, you know? Hey everybody, thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, please watch another one because that's how the algorithm works. So click on this one that's being recommended to you right now, right here on the screen. It actually helps a lot if you do that because like that's how YouTube knows that my videos are worth caring about. Also, if you have any movies or TV shows you'd like to recommend, send me an email at alexmyerscontact at gmail.com and I'll put them on my absurdly long list of movies that I need to get to at some point. Anyway, hope I made your day a little bit better and I'll see you all next time.